Okay, hello. Good afternoon, St. Theodore. Good afternoon po. Hello. Afternoon Am I audible? Po. Malakas naman Good ang afternoon. mic ni ma'am. Opo, ma'am. Opo. Okay. Okay, let's just wait for the others. Ha? May mga ina-admit pa lang ako ng mga students. Okay, si John Ver, Jazen, si Kirby. Okay, let's just admit them. Eh, meron pa ba? Like ka at yan sa. Hello class. Am I audible? Audible si ma'am? Yes. Opo ma'am. Okay. Ayan, may mga nagpapa-admit pa. Sige. Okay. Si Jim, si Jamaica, si Mark. Okay. Okay, again, good afternoon, St. Theodore. So let us start our class with a prayer. Okay. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for your ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are going about or on what we are going to learn. Inspires us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of our Lord. Amen. So hello, good afternoon, St. Theodore. Good afternoon to, to my dearest cooperating teacher, Ms. Chrysaline Acosta. Hello po. Okay, let me introduce myself first. I am Ms. K. Angela Bien and I will, became your I will become your teacher for today's lesson. So how's your day, St. Theodore? Okay lang po, ma'am. But parang iisa ang St. Theodor ko. Okay, okay lang, lang po. po. Ayan, ang dami pala. Okay. Ayan, may mga nagpapa-admit pa. Sige, i-admit lang natin sila pero we're going to start na ha. Okay, before we proceed with our class discussion, kindly open your cameras dun sa mga kayang mag-open and stay muted to maintain our clear communication. Is that okay, St. Theodor? Please open your cameras. So that I can see your beautiful faces and your handsome faces. Ayan, ang gaganda naman ng mga taga St. Theodore. Okay, yan. May mga nagpapa-admit pa. Okay, and upon siya, um, with your regards, with your attendance, kindly comment your names on the comment section so that I will be easy monitoring your... Um, attendance and don't forget to use our hashtag for today hashtag good vibes with a green heart okay comment your names na ayan yung si sydney okay okay ayan So sige nga, kung talagang active ang aking St. Theodor ngayong araw, kindly give me a heart reaction kung talagang nandyan kayo lahat. Dun sa mga hindi makapag-open ng cameras, kindly react a heart reaction. Ayan, so nandyan talaga sila. Ayan, yung mga pumapasok pa po si Sophia si Aaron. Okay, let me share my screen and tell me if naka nakikita nyo na ha, yung aking screen. Just wait for a minute. Ayan. 
Can you see my screen right now? Yes, po. Okay. Yes, po, ma'am. Okay, thank you for the responses. Okay, again, good afternoon. Thank you, Dor. May mga nagpapa-admit pa ba? Participants, let's see. Ayan, si Grizel. Okay, class, let's first have a recap. What you had discussed last meeting on this subject? Okay, kindly raise your virtual hand if you want to answer and don't hesitate to answer. How wag kayong mahiya kay ma'am. You're all welcome on this class. Okay, what you had discussed last meeting in MIL? Okay, Miss Julian Cariaga. Hello, good morning. Ay, good afternoon. Good afternoon po. Naalala ko po yung diniscuss namin na types of social, na types of media po. Okay, the types of media. Very good. Ano pa po ang pinag-aralan natin last time or pinag-aralan pinag nyo last time? What you had discussed last time? Ayan. There are a lot of offense raising, ha? Okay. Miss Erla Faye de Torres. Types of information po. Types of information. What about types of information? Ayan, nasagot si Ms. Julian Cariaga. Okay, what you had discussed last meeting? Sa types of information po, meron po akong naalalang scholarly information po. Ayan, si scholarly information, which is super valid. Lahat ng laman ni scholarly information, right? As you can still remember on the last discussion. Okay, another hand raising. Ms. Amy Bautista. Um, Diniscuss din po namin last time po yung sources of information gaya po ng primary sources secondary sources, and tertiary sources po. Very good, Miss Amy. Thank you. Okay. So there are different types of media and there are different types of information which are, which are very important because they are all very helpful to our society nowadays, right? And it is because we can easily access information through the use of our media. Just like in the new normal setup of education today, it is very easy for us to provide information to you, students, because of the different types of media and the different kinds of invention na meron tayo ngayon, like the new applications that we can use to provide information. We are all being updated of what is happening to our society because of the different sources of information na sinasabi nyo kanina. Okay, so let's have our quotation for the day. Okay. Kindly read. Who wants to read our quotation for the day by Wilhelm von Humboldt? Okay, Mr. L.J. Mayo. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, ma'am. Uh, okay. Langu language makes infinite use of finite media by Wilhelm von Humboldt. Okay. Sino may interpretation dito? Ano? What is your interpretation about this quotation of by Wilhelm von Humboldt? What are your interpretations about this um, quotation for the day? Don't hesitate to raise your virtual hand, ha? You are, all your answers are accepted, mga anak. So don't be afraid to raise your virtual hand. Okay. Who has an interpretation with this quotation? Hey, this, ano nga pala, this class is recorded. So, all your um, participation is also recorded, okay? So, kung ako sa inyo, you participate, okay? Okay, it was an interpretation about our quotation. The language makes infinite use of finite media. Ayan, Miss Aina Jamay Kapasha. Hello, good afternoon. Hello po. Rinig po? Yes, anak. Audible ka. Ma'am, para sa akin po, ano po? Ano po? Yung language po ay parang limited lang po sa words, pero madami pong interpretation. Yes. Nice interpretation. Okay, another interpretation. Okay. Ayan, may mga nag-raise ba ng hand? Okay, if there's no, I know, if walang nag raise ng hand, I'm gonna call name, ha? Is that okay to you, St. Theodore? Okay, again, Miss Julian Cariaga, napaka-active naman ni Julian. As what Miss Ina po said, 
limited lang po yung mga language po na meron po tayo. Kaya po, nagagamit po natin yung, yung use of media infinitely po dahil po marami pong meaning po yung mga yon pati po ideas yung mga languages natin. Okay, very good. Okay, so thank you, Miss Julian. Our quotation for today by Wilhelm von Humboldt only means that language makes media become much easy to access because nowadays, different languages can be translated and interpreted through the use of our media applications and other um, media platforms, right? It only concludes that the delivery of the information is very accessible nowadays. Okay, now, I have a question class to you. Ito para sa inyo tong lahat. Have you ever experienced to critic a commercial or an advertisement on television or even while you are watching video clips on YouTube? Have you ever experienced to critic a commercial? Give me a thumbs up if kayo ay nakaranas na nito. No, nagkikritik kayo ng mga advertisement. Ayan, ang dami nagta-thumbs up. Very good. Okay. Now, I want you to answer this question. How can you say that an advertisement for you is entertaining or not? So, paano nyo daw masasabi na ang isang advertisement or commercial is um, good or not or entertaining or not? Okay, you can raise your hand again. You can use Tagalog or English kung saan kayo komportable mga anak so that you can answer and participate. Yes, Miss Cyril May de Los Santos. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon po, ma'am. For me po, entertaining po yung mga commercials kapag po meron po tayong nakukuhang knowledge at nasa-share yes. na knowledge sa ibang tao po. Yun po exactly. Ma If the advertisement has lessons. Okay. Another one, Miss Sydney Manalo. Um, natutuwa po ako pag maganda po yung mga effects po na pinapakita po dun sa hmm. gay on. Okay, more on technical si Sydney, ano? more on technical issues ang kanyang tinitingnan kapag dating sa pagtingin sa mga commercials. Okay, Miss Aina Jamaica. Wow, ang dami nag-raise nag na nga, nakakatawa ang St. Eudor. Um, kapag po nakaka-persuade po. Ayan, pag nakaka-persuade daw, ibig sabihin, Marami kang makukuhang aral and meron kang mga matututunan on that advertisement. Okay, Mr. Noel Cardell. Thank you, Aina. Entertaining po ang advertisement po. Nakakas niya po yung attention ko. Tapos unique po yung pagde-deliver niya ng ad or product. Yes, very good. If it's catchy. Ayan. Okay, last one. Miss Julian Cariaga again. Wow, this kid is a very ano, active Papa. talaga. Okay. Kapag po napapasaya po yung mga tao at saka po nai-inspired po na gumawa din po ng ganun. Yes, concept. true anak. Yes, true Julian. Talagang ang isang advertisement is really good if it inspires people, di ba? Siyempre, maganda na lahat ng napapanood nating advertisement, may mga napupulot tayo na nagagamit natin and na-apply natin in our real life situations. Okay. Um, for our motivation for today, Let's have our energizer. So I'm going to be playing this video. Uh, this is an example of, of an ad advertisement. And after watching the video, I have a follow-up questions that you are going to answer. So make sure na talagang papanoorin nyo up until the end itong ating video. And tell me if naririnig nyo yung audio ng ating video, ha? Okay, I'm going to playing it now. Okay, naririnig ba yung music ng ating ano? Okay. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Aina. จะได้อะไรถ้าเขาทำแบบนี้ทุกวันเ
ขาจะไม่ได้อะไรเลยไม่ได้รวยขึ้นไม่ได้ออกทีวีไม่มีใครรู้จักไม่ได้มีชื่อเสียงที่มากขึ้นเพราะสิ่งที่เขาได้คือได้แค่ความรู้สึกได้เห็นความสุขได้เข้าใจได้ความรักได้ในสิ่งที่เงินซื้อไม่ได้ได้โลกที่สวยงามกว่าเดิมในชีวิตคุณอะไรคือสิ่งที่คุณต้องการมากที่สุดไทยประกันชีวิตเชื่อในความดีโอเค Parang may mga naiiyak siya. Okay. Now, let's start answering this question sa sinasabi ko sa inyo earlier. Okay. The following questions will be, what do you think this advertisement... Ah, okay. Do you think that this advertisement is effective? Why or why not? Okay. For sure, maraming sasagot. Okay. Yan, ang dami nga. Okay. Miss Angelica Lanzana. Oh, there are new Mom, names. Papa, effective po. Okay, why do you think is it effective? Nakaka, ano po, yang, nakaka-influensya po siya na gumawa ng mabuti sa araw-araw. Kasi po, wala namang, parang, wala namang magkakos ng paggawa po ng kindness sa ibang tao. Yes, exactly. Talagang, pati ako naiiyak sa boses ni ano, ni Ms. Lansana. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ito pa, ang daming gustong sumagot. Okay. Mr. Noel Cardell. Ba't nawala yung mga sumasagot kanina? Ang dami nun. Okay. Effective po. Effective po siya bilang isang advertisement po dahil yeah, it keeps you engaged po wanting to know more po. Tapos na uh, para malaman po kung anong mangyayari. Iba po kasi sa ibang advertisement ini-skip na lang po natin. Yung advertisement na po yun, parang gusto po nating matapos para malaman ko anong mangyayari. Yes. So, ibig sabihin, talagang effective siya. No? Okay. Another hand raising. Ayan, si Miss Grizel Bambalan. Um, yung so what is the message of the advertisement? For, for me po, ano po, um, kahit mawalan po siya, basta po nakatulong siya sa ibang tao. Yan po. Okay. That is one thing. Kaya naging effective itong ating advertisement na sample. Okay. Second one is, what is the most striking part of the advertisement? So, alin yung pinaka nakakatch ng attention nyo on this advertisement? Yes, Miss Erla Faye. Yung part po na nakita niya yung batang napasok na po sa school, ibig sabihin po yung kahit yung kating kating niya, may, malaki din po yung nararating. Yes. Okay, sa akin din yun din yung striking part po. Okay. Yes, Miss Precious Valerie Lasig. Thank you. Para po sa akin, ang most striking part po of the advertisement ay nung na-reciprocate na po yung lahat ng tulong po na ibinigay nung lalaki. Big word of the day, reciprocate. Okay. Next, we have Krizel. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Miss Krizel. Hey, mom, sorry po. Hindi ko po na i- ano. Ah, okay. Sige. Okay lang. Sige. So, next question is, what is the message of the advertisement para sa inyo? 
So ano yung pinaka message nito, 'di ba? Ang dami niyang symbolisms na ginamit. So what is the most um common kaya na message na pare-parehas kayo na nakuha? Okay. Yes, Miss Julia. To do good po. To do good. Exactly. O talagang napaka precise nitong si Julian ha. Talagang to be good. Okay. Miss Amy Bautista, hello. Um, yung advertisement po para pong pinapakita niya na kapag pwede po tayong makatulong o kaya nating makatulong sa ibang tao, tulungan po natin sila. Okay, very good. Amy, okay. Next, Mr. Aaron Paul Caponpon. Um, para po sa akin, ang message po ng advertisement ay ay pagtulong po sa sa ibang tao o sa kapwa po without expecting anything back po. Basta po, bukal po sa loob at taos, taos puso po yung pagtulong po sa kanila. Oh yes. Ang pinaka naging main focus ng advertisement that I showed you earlier is yung pagtulong talaga without anything in return na inaabangan kayo. Okay. If you would recreate this advertisement, what would you change and why? May gusto ba kayong baguhin dun sa advertisement in what part? Bakit nyo gustong paltan? Ayan. Sige, may gusto ba kayong palitan doon kung kayo ay mga magiging future film, mga future editors? O yan, sige. Sa so, tingin nyo, anong magandang baguhin dito sa advertisement and bakit? Ayan. Yes, Miss Julian. Dadagdagan lang po para ah, okay, may additions na. Ah, okay. Ano po? <laughs> Yung matanda po, may business na, na para pong naitaguyod yung business na yun. Ah, so, wala siyang gustong baguhin. Gusto niya pang dagdagan ng mas precious <laughs> moments. Ano, okay. Very good, Miss Julian. Okay, another one. Last one answer. Sige, anak, go. You may raise your hand if you want to answer. Hindi ba mahina ang boses ni ma'am? Maka hindi ako naririnig, ha? Rinig po, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so give me a thumbs up nga kung ayaw niyong baguhin to, i-recreate -re tong ating ano, advertisement na pinanood. If wala naman kayong gustong baguhin masyado, ayan, ang dami nagta-thumbs up. So ibig sabihin, talagang may mga gusto lang i-add pero walang gustong bag um, baguhin. Okay. So our activity or our motivation is a really big connection with our new topic for today, which is the media and information languages. Ayan. Ito yung ating topic for today. And I want to show you the objective of our um, lesson. So you will be able to first familiarize with how languages are used by different media to convey information in a unique manner. Second is to use creativity and imagination in using various languages to be able to express ideas, information, data, and etc. Third is to discover how different audiences, producers, stakeholders process, receive, and perceive a single information being conveyed. And the last one is for you to justify the need to analyze media representations. So let us now discuss the first part, which is the role of information providers. So let me read the first, the first slide. Information serves different purposes. Okay. Proper use of information depends on how well you can identify the information you need and your ability to locate and understand and evaluate available information. So sabi nga mga anak, there are different goals and objectives ang ating um, information providers. So with the proper use of information, we can use our abilities in understanding and analyzing the information na ibinibigay sa atin. Di ba tayo ay kung tutusan kung may information providers, we are the receivers, we are the consumers, right? Okay, next one. Kindly read the next slide. Who wants to read the next slide for your participation? Mga anak, sige. Oh, there are a lot of hands raising again. Yes, Miss Precious Lasig. Role of information providers. Media and other providers of information play different roles to meet our different information needs. We often hear that 
the role of media is to inform and to educate. Okay, very good, Miss Precious. Thank you. Okay, as you can still remember, on the last topic you discussed last time, dun sa ating mga types of media and types of information, di ba may na-discuss tayo dong providers of information? If you can still remember that. We have four types of providers of information. The academic institution, which is for education, government agencies, yung mga pivots natin, yung sa mga weather forecasters na yan, private sectors sa businesses, and yung mga private individuals natin tinatawag. So that's true. Different providers of information give us details that will suit or meet with, the, with our different needs. Kagaya na lamang nito. For example, you want to find a job, a part-time job. Siyempre, it's pandemic, you will going to um, look for a job na online, di ba? So for you to have that, kasi wala namang mga walk-ins ngayon, so we use the LinkedIn, yung LinkedIn na app, alam niyo yun, yung LinkedIn, wherein you are going to give your email and your background there, parang ipapasa mo yung resume mo din, and then this LinkedIn application will provide you the content that you are needed, okay? Or you need for the job application na hinahanap mo. And doon, nakalagay na kung anong mga jobs yung gusto mo based sa background na inilagay mo on yourself doon sa iyong resume. Okay. So ito yung isang example na ditong sinasabi na prov the providers of information play different roles to meet our different information needs. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. Next one. Kindly read. Okay. Yes, Miss Amy Bautista, you can read now. Role of information providers. Difference of to inform and to educate. To inform is to provide relevant data on a specific subject. Sometimes this data is limited to a specific group of people. To educate is to go beyond providing relevant information by helping people gain in a deeper knowledge through additional data, context, and analysis of information. Okay, so thank you, Amy. Okay, so let's differentiate these two, to inform and to educate. Sabi dito, to inform is to provide relevant data on a specific subject. So kapag to inform mga anak, syempre ito yung sinasabi nating to let someone know, to notify, to update, and to impart. Ibig sabihin, hindi lahat ng information you will give them. The, in, mo, um, the whole information. Meron ka lang mga keywords and para, um, phrases na ilalaan for them na madali nilang makakatch up ng mga ano natin ng mga receivers. So sinasabi dito sometimes this data is limited to specific group of people. So hindi siya kagaya ng to educate natin. So what is to educate is is it is to go beyond providing relevant information by helping people gain in a deeper knowledge through additional data, context and analysis of information. So to educate ibig sabihin to teach, 'di ba? Pag to educate, to instruct and to prepare the people na binibigyan natin ng information. So sabi dito, through additional data, so syempre, sasama na natin yung to teach um, additional data, to instruct different contexts, and to prepare them in analysis of different informations na kanilang natatanggap. So napakalaki pala ng pinagkaiba ng, salitang, ng mga salitang to inform and to educate. So mas malalim pala ang ating to educate sa to inform. Okay. Is this part clear, mga anak? Okay, mga anak, you can raise questions if you want, okay? Huwag kayong mahihiya kay ma'am. Don't be shy. Okay, next slide. Okay, we have the other roles of media providers. So, kanina, we have the information providers. Now, we have the media providers. Okay, who wants to read? Wants to read? Ayan. May nakita akong bagong pangalan. Nasaan yun? Ah, okay. Sige. Sige, Mr. Noel Cardell. Sige, Noel. Magbasa ka, Noel. Other roles of media providers. To facilitate teaching and learning processes. To provide access to all types of information. To serve as a gateway to information. To promote universal values and civil rights such as freedom of expression, speech, and of the press. Ayan. So, isa-isahin natin itong i-discuss. To facilitate teaching and learning process. Thank you, Noel. Okay. To facilitate teaching and learning processes. Okay. So, alam naman natin, in this time of pandemic, 
we have the new normal setup, right, of education. So, ang media ang nagiging paraan natin, yung mga different media platforms yung nagiging paraan natin to facilitate the teaching and learning process as kagaya ng ating ginagawa. Ito yon. Okay, to provide access to all types of information. Siyempre, hindi naman lahat is na ibibigay sa atin dito, di ba? So, we have to have researches. Okay, we have to search anything in Google para lang makapag-access tayo ng lahat ng informations na ating kailangan. Ayan, may pumapasok pa. Okay, third, to serve as a gateway to information. So we all know that media is a very easy to use, right? So talagang ito yung nagiging gateway natin para makakuha ng information, information hindi lang for education, but for us as a citizen and as a productive um, people in the whole world. Di ba? Hindi naman natin ginagamit lang ito para sa pag-aaral, itong media platform. Um, media platforms, di ba? Ginagamit natin siya to entertain ourselves, right? Um, while browsing on YouTube ng mga panonoorin sa TikTok, ayan. To promote universal values and civil rights such as freedom of expression, speech, and on of the press. So we all know, mga anak, that we are using media platforms in order to express ourselves, kagaya ng ating mga pagpo-post na ginagawa sa Facebook. Um, freedom to speak, Okay, may mga live tayong ginagawa minsan, di ba? May mga live sessions tayo sa mga mahihilig dyan mag-live. So, freedom of speech yun, right? And of the press, syempre, ito na yung mga about sa mga news, right? Na tayo ay kumukuha na ng mga balita about the society, what is happening right now in our society, right? So, you as a student, you are really a ben um, you are really um, potential in using you really have a potential in using this media platforms. Kasi kayo yung marurunong talaga. We are in the modern world, right? Hindi na tayo yung mga 1970s na mga bata. Tayo ay mga nasa modern um, era na, modern era na tayo today. So next one is to, okay, kindly read. Ayan. Sino kaya yon? Ayan, si Mr. Ronald Nino aba, ang active din ng voice ng Theodore, ha? nakakatawa. To serve as society's collective memory, to gather more information, to preserve cultural heritage, and to entertain. Okay, thank you, Ronald. Okay, first is to serve as society's collective memory. Okay, di ba meron tayong mga kilalang tao or hindi man sobrang kilalang tao na hindi natin alam yung background nila. Halimbawa, sa school, may pinasearch sa atin. Alamin niyo kung sino si um, Jose Rizal. Okay, yan yung sinabi. Eh, ikaw, hindi ka familiar na si Jose Rizal pala is ganito, ganyan. So, you are going to use the media para isearch kung ano yung mga background na, me background na meron si Jose Rizal. So, nagiging collective memory siya kasi nagagawan mo ng paraan na makilala yung mga tao in the past days, right? Okay, to gather more information, so... This is to gather different or specific data na kailangan mo in your life, hindi lang sa education, but syempre as a, as a citizen nga. To preserve cultural heritage, this includes yung ating mga beliefs, traditions na meron tayo and even yung sa ating mga religions na pe-preserve siya through media kasi di ba minsan may mga nagpo-post na nandun sila sa simbahan, na may mga bago na palang... Uh, ginawang part dito sa simbahan na ito. May mga nabago na pala. So, to preserve cultural heritage na. Okay, first. Okay, next is to entertain. Siyempre, we all know that media is a way of entertaining ourselves, right? Sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, you are watching um, video clips on TikTok, on YouTube, in order for you to be entertained, right? So, talaga ang media platforms has different purposes na very meaningful and useful to all of us, right? Ayan. So, the word information is not limited to serious news. All forms of content in media are considered information and all information is a message. So, lahat daw ng nakikita natin in media, lahat ng content ng media, kahit pa yan ay Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or different kind of applications na ating ginagamit nowadays, lahat ng laman yan, that is all information. Okay? Basta nagbibigay ng message, hindi man 
message para sa iyo but message for other people it is a form of information is that clear give me a thumbs up nga kung naiintindihan itong part na ito ayan thank you for the responses saint theodore okay let us now discuss the codes and conventions in media okay Sino kaya itong gwapong lalaking ito? Ayan. This is Mr. Marshall McLuhan of 1964. He is very famous with his quotation na the medium is the message. Okay. He studied how culture and society were affected by the means with which information is conveyed. He said that media affect us not only through the information that they deliver but also through their language. Codes and conventions. So, matatakal natin to later itong language, codes and conventions na sinasabi. So, be thankful with Marshall McLuhan kasi because of his studies about the culture and society, he is, he is able to know what is the real meaning of the information and ano yung meaning ng pagdi-deliver ng message. Okay? Next. Let us now discuss the first one yung sinasabi sa inyo kanina. Language. What is language? Okay, kindly read. What is language? Yes, Mr. Jim O'Malley. Language are codes, conventions, formats, symbols, and narrative structures that indicate the meaning of media messages to an audience. These are codes and conventions that media and information professionals may select and use in an effort to communicate ideas, information, and knowledge. Okay, so itong ating sinasabing language, these are the codes, convention, format, symbols, and narrative structures. So lahat pala ng nakikita nating written format ng mga salita, it is part of the language, right? Lahat ng media messages na, na, na babasa natin and even yung ating napoprovide with our receivers is a part of a language. So hindi pala mapupo ang information kung walang language, right? S sige, try natin. Hindi tayo magsasalita. Okay, hindi tayo magsasalita. Sa tingin nyo magkakaintindihan tayo today if there is no language. ba diba? Hindi. So, language is a very important in um, providing information. These are the codes and conventions that media and information professionals may select and use in an effort to communicate ideas, information, and knowledge. Just like what I said earlier, so this is, a, um, this is one way of communicating. This is one way of providing the information and the knowledge. Kung hindi tayo magsasalita, no one will interpret what we uh, what we want to convey sa kanila, di ba? Paano tayo interpret ng taong hindi tayo naiintindihan kung ano yung lingwahe ng meron tayo, di ba? Kaya minsan mahirap makipag-usap pag hindi mo naiintindihan ang iyong kausap. Minsan ayaw mo na lang magsalita, di ba? May mga ganong times. So, language is a very important. Syempre, we have different Um, language na ginagamit kagaya sa atin, Filipino. And wait lang anak. Bakit ako ay nakastock? Wait lang anak ha. Ayan. Okay na ba? Oh no. Okay. I guess I have a technical problem mga anak. Just wait for a minute mga anak ha. Ayan, sige anak. Okay lang na hindi niya ako makita kasi ano eh, hindi ko magana yung camera ni ma'am. Pero I'm gonna try to continue this ano, lesson. Wait lang mga anak. Okay, ayan. Sige, tuloy natin even without my face being showed to you. Okay, next one. We have the codes. Okay, what are the codes? These are the system of signs when we put together create meaning. Okay. So, ano yung mga sinasabi nating codes? We have the first one. We have the types of codes in media. Ano-ano sila? The technical codes, the audio codes, the written codes, and the symbolic codes. Ayan. So, ano yung mga sinasabi nating codes? Ito yung mga signs na kapag napagsama-sama natin or being combined, nagkakaroon siya ng magandang meaning for all of us. Kagaya na lang dun sa ating mga 
um, ikikritik natin ngayon yung ating video na pinanood kanina. And let's see if that advertisement has this kind of codes, right? Okay, sige, try natin. Okay, first, we have the technical codes. It includes sound, camera angles, types of shots and lightning as well as lighting as well as camera, techniques, framing, depth of filed lighting, exposure, and juxtaposition. Okay. So, meron ba kayong nakita nito kanina sa advertisement? May nakita ba kayong mga magagandang camera angles, mga magagandang shots? And even yung mga techniques na ginamit kapag nagpe-frame tayo, maganda ba yung framing? Hindi ba super crowded yung mga naging eksena sa ating video kanina? Hindi naman. Okay. Next, we have the written codes. Okay. Use of language, style, and textual layout. We have the headlines, the captions, the titles, the speech bubbles, language, and the writing styles. So, kung mapapansin nyo kanina sa video, we have the subtitles, right? So, ito yung example ng written codes. Kaya nga sinabing written codes, these are the textual lay layout na siya. So, dun sa ating video na pinanood kanina, meron tayong mga ginamit na subtitles para mas maintindihan natin kung ano yung gustong i-convey um, ng ating advertisement. So, we have the audio codes. This includes codes related to sound. Background music, sound effects, and voiceovers are under this category. So, kanina, kung, may, kung magagets nyo naman sa ating video, there are voiceovers, di ba? May nagsasalita habang may umaarte, di ba? And then, meron din tayong background music, which is yung background music natin is talagang nakaka-catch siya ng attention. Na parang kahit hindi mo napapanood yung mismong video, papakinggan mo yung music na napili nila, right? And even the sound effects, yung mga sound effects na ginagamit natin. Di ba? May mga napapanood kayong vlogs, di ba? Meron silang mga sound effects doon na ginagamit na parang pampa-highlight doon sa kanilang nangyayari sa kanila on that video. Okay. Last one is the symbolic codes. Show what is beneath the surface of what we see. Something like objects, setting, body language, clothing, or color, or iconic symbols that are easily understood. So tingnan nyo mga anak. What are the symbolic codes na nagamit doon sa ating advertisement na pinanood kanina? Oh, there is someone raising. Yes, Miss Amy Bautista. Um, para po sa akin, yung ano po, clothing po or yung suot pong damit kanina ng lalaki. Color white po. Um, pwede po siya mag-convey ng message na purity po. Oh, sa that's nice. Purity. Okay, very good. Miss Amy, another one. Yes, Miss Jillian Karyaga. Body language po. Naghihirap na po yung mga tao doon. Okay, the body languages. Okay, very good, Miss Julian. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, napakadaming symbolic codes na ginamit doon sa ating advertisement na pinanood. What are they? Meron tayo doon plant, di ba? May ginamit na plant, nakita nyo? Yung plant na nakita nating lanta ng una, but because he saw that plant, he tried to... Um, give that plant water, which and di ba ang water and plant is symbolizes life, di ba? Pwede yun sa life, nagsisimbolize yun ng life and growth, right? Okay, meron pang ginamit na dog. Para sa yung dog, di ba? Sa ano yun? Parang affection, love and affection siya ginamit na symbolism. Meron doon na bata na pulubi siya tapos nung huli niyang makita is yung most striking part na sinasabi ni Ineng kanina na pinaka-striking part daw sa kanya nung bigla niyang nakitang naka, napasok na yung bata. So, that symbolizes um, yung being inspired. Okay. Symbolism of inspiration, aspiration, di ba? So, dahil inspired siya dun sa lalaki, dun sa tumutulong sa kanya, nagkaroon ng symbolism of hope, di ba? Nagkaroon din ng symbolism of hope. Ano pa? Yung sasaging. Ano kayang meron dun sa saging? Ano kayang symbolism meron yung ating banana na lagi niyang ibinibigay dun sa matanda? Sige, what kind of symbolism is that? Okay, yes, Miss Julian. Pwede pong eat healthy po. Okay, being healthy. Okay, another one. Madaming symbolisms talaga na ipinakita yung advertisement na ating uh, pinanood kanina. Okay, so wala ba? Okay. So yung banana, pwede siyang mag-ano eh. 
mag-symbolizes ng love of your family, di ba? Kasi hindi niya naman kaano-ano yun, pero binibigyan niya pa rin ng um, concern. Yung sa symbolism of being concerned, di ba? Pwede rin yun, concern siya sa, sa dun sa taong yun. Na kahit hindi niya naman um, family talaga, hindi naman talaga konektado sa buhay niya, is still, he is giving, he is giving hope to the people na nakapaligid sa kanya. Okay, next. We have the conventions. Ano ba itong tinatawag nating conventions? Kindly read. Who wants to read the meaning of conventions? Ba't di ko mabuhay ang aking camera, mga anak? What's happening? Ayan, yes. Miss Christine Abrenica. Conventions. It refers to a standard or norm that acts as a rule governing behavior or generally established and accepted ways of doing something. Something. Each genre is in television, film, and literature follow certain conventions that distinguish them from other genres. Differentiating a TV series from a news program. Okay, so conventions, it refers to a standard or norm that acts as a rule of governing behavior. Kagaya ng pinanood natin kanina. Di ba more on, ano naman siya, life insurance siya eh, di ba? Advertisement siya about life insurance. Yung Thai life insurance ata, ayun, yung sa advertisement na yun. But because ginaminod din siya ng convention, wala namang naaapakan kahit sino yung ating ginawang advertisement, di ba? That is good kasi walang naaapakan kahit ano. It is generally established and accepted ways of doing something, di ba? Wala namang pinakitang harassment doon sa video, right? Which is a very um, relatable sa lahat ng manonood. Each genre in television, film, and literature follow certain conventions that distinguish them from other genres. So lahat kasi ng ating napapanood yan, manay vlog, video man sa YouTube, commercials man yan, advertisement, lahat yan may sinusunod na mga rules na dapat hindi sila magiging against to that rules in order for that advertisement na maging qualified na pwedeng panoorin ng tao. Okay? Differentiating a TV series from a news program. So ano bang meron? Di ba pag TV series, ito yung mga ano, mga teleserye, kasama yan sa TV series, yung mga teleserye na yung mga amprobinsyano, yung mga ganyan. And paano siya i-differentiate sa news program? Di ba sa ang probinsyano, more on ano siya, more on minsan, nagiging part siya ng society, di ba? May, may ganong ano eh, may ganong effect ang ang probinsya na parang nagre-reflect siya sa totoong nangyayari sa society. Pero ang news program is the reality mismo, di ba? Yun yung pinagkaiba nila. Ang TV series can be a reflection of what is happening in the society. But the news program, hindi sila pwedeng hindi magsasabi doon ng totoo. All the stated are all facts. Right? Hindi pwedeng hindi totoo kasi pwedeng ma magkaroon sila ng against na mga palabas sa mga rules na kanilang sinusunod. Okay, yan yung sinasabi natin here at the convention. Okay, next we have the audience. So, sino ba ang mga audience daw? Okay, kindly read what is an audience. Yes, Mr. Aaron Joseph. Audience, the group of consumers for whom the media message was constructed as well as anyone else who is exposed to the message. A homogeneous group of passive individuals who will interpret a text in the same way. Okay, thank you. Okay, what is an audience? These are the group of consumers for whom the media message was constructed as well as anyone else who is exposed to the message. Okay, so sino daw yung mga audience? Ito yung mga nakakabasa, nakakanood. Sila yung mga receivers, kung tawagin, receivers of the information. Ito ang ating audiences or ang ating audience. Okay, someone daw na naka-expose to the message, minsan tayo yon, di ba? Hindi naman tayo lagi ang nagpo-provide ng messages, di ba? Minsan tayo yung tumatanggap mismo ng messages. A homogeneous group of passive individuals who will interpret a text in the same way. Di ba lagi naman tayong ganun? Once na makakita tayo ng messages or information, we are tend to interpret that information. Di ba? Hindi naman pwedeng nabasa mo lang. Kailangan meron ka laging natututunan and dapat meron kang mga interpretations na ginagawa para at least ang ah, makakatulong ba to is this symbolizes hope mga ganyan yung mga tanong mo sa sarili mo pag nagiiinterpret ka di ba 
ah, okay, is this message will be really helpful? Is this message really meaningful? Ayan yung mga tanong natin pag nag interpret tayo ng mga natatanggap nating um, messages, right? Or ng information. Okay, last one is the target audience. Okay, these are groups of readers, viewers, or listeners defined by a specific characteristic such as age, income, gender, or interest. A specific group of people for whom media and other organizations develop content and shape messages. So yung tinatawag naman nating target audience, ito na yung may mga goal na tayo na mga maging audiences. Kaya nga target audience, goal mo na maging audience. Halimbawa, ikaw ay director ng isang pelikula na ang gusto mong ma-target audience ay ang mga kabataan. For example, is the teenagers. Yun ang iyong main focus on your upcoming movie. ba? Diba? Kunwari, director ka. Gusto mong gumawa ng isang movie which is very relatable. Pwede kang gumawa ng movie na ipapakita mo how students of this ano, time of pandemic really cope up with the struggles ng pag-aaral. Okay, pwede kang gumawa ng ganung movie. But you have to know who is your target audience. Hindi pwedeng ang yayayain mong manood is mga magulang, mga tambay. Dapat yung mga target audience mo is yung mga students. Kasi yun yung patutunguhan and yun yung focus ng iyong magiging palabas. So target audience, naiintindihan ba ang target audience? Okay, minsan mga anak, this target audience, siya yung nagsha-shape ng magiging storyline ng isang advertisement and magiging flow ng isang movie or ng isang film. Itong mga target audience. Kasi ito nga yung minsan yung pinofocus. Ito yung unang inaalam ng mga gagawa ng palabas. Sino bang magandang target audience? Sino ba yung mga mas makaka-relate kapag ito yung story na ginawa natin? Okay, ganun yung mga... Um, outline na ginagawa pag nagpa-plan ng isang film and ng mga advertisements. Okay? Kindly read the next slide. We are going to discuss about the media representation. Why still I can't open my camera? Okay, wants to read this part? Okay, Mr. Nathaniel Cueto. The ways media portrays part, uh, media representation. Uh, the ways media portrays particular groups, com committees, experiences, ideas, or topics from a particular ideological or value perspective. It tell, tells us that media reflect ideology, not reality. It makes us aware of how media construct or represent reality and affect our perception of ourselves and of our surroundings. By Erin M. Pepper. Okay, thank you, Nathaniel. Okay, we have the next one, the media representation. Anong sabi dito ni Nathaniel kanina? These are the ways media portrays particular groups, committees, experiences, ideas, or topics from a particular ideological or value perspective. So, ang media representation is hindi lang siya basta anak ginagawa. Lagi siyang may goal, laging may purpose. Diba tayo naman, kahit minsan, pag may mga ginagawa tayong activities, may ipinepresent sa ating mga goals, right? May mga... Uh, may mga perspective tayong dapat tingnan. Kagaya sa media representation, hindi sila gumagawa basta ng mga advertisement. They have plans. They always have to know their perspective, yung value perspective, sino bang makikinabang. And also, it tells us that media reflect ideology, not reality. Okay? It makes us aware of how media construct or represent reality and affect our perception of ourselves and our Surroundings by Irene M. Pepper Birch. Okay. So dito naman sa sinasabi, dito sa pangalawang line natin, it tells us that media reflect ideology. Ano ba pag sinabi nating ideology? Who have an idea about ideology? Diba? Sa Tagalog, ideolia siya. Okay. Ano siya sa, anong naiintindihan niyo about ideology? What is an ideology? Sige, mga anak. Okay, wala ba? Okay. Itong sinasabi nating ideology is uh, meron siyang part na pang-economic and meron din siyang part na minsan political. Minsan about siya sa mga policies. And these are the systems of ideas na nagkakaroon ng magandang ideal moment. Halimbawa, sige, mag-try tayo. Yung ang probinsyano natin kanina. Di ba part siya ng media? TV series siya, right? So, How this um, 
TV series construct or represent reality. 'Di ba may mga ginagamit siya na ano? Meron doon na mga parts na may mga politicians tapos nire-reflect nila kung ano yung nangyayari sa society. So ganun kapag ideology, hindi mo mismo sasabihin yung reality, but you are rather using ideology. Okay? Next. We have the media representation. Meron tayong anim na parts ng media representation. What are they? First, we have we have the construction. Ano ang construction? Makikibasa. What is a construction? Yes, Miss Julian. The way a media material is put together. Okay, construction. The way a media material is put together. Thank you, Julian. So, dito sa construction, anak, dito tayo nagpa-plan. How you are going to represent a media. Okay, dito yung mga nabubuo na. Constructing nga, eh, di ba? So, dito na nagbibuild ng mga plans, ang mga directors, ang mga producers. Nagbibuild na sila ng magandang plano. Kung ano yung uh, magiging focus, ano ba yung magandang angle, ano yung pinaka magiging takbo, flow ng magiging advertisement or kung yan man ay poster, ano magiging design? Diyan na yun, yung mga pagpaplano. Okay, we have the next one. We have the mediation or mediation. Okay, what is mediation? Okay, yes, Miss Sydney. The process that a media material undergoes before reaching an audience. Okay, the process that media material undergoes before reaching an audience. So dito naman mga anak, ito nangyayari to before natin alamin kung sino yung ating mga target audience. Di ba? Di ba kanina tinap um na discuss natin yung about sa yung sa advertisement na pinanood natin kanina na di ba meron dong mga part na may mga angles, may mga technical codes na tayong hinahanap doon. So dito minsan tin um, dito sa part na ito sa mediation, dito na natin inaalam ano yung mga audio codes, ano yung mga technical codes, ano yung written codes na ating mga gagawin kapag tayo ay nag-conduct ng isang film or advertisement na gagawin. Okay, we have the next one, the selection. Ito na. Selection is the process of selecting content for a media material. So, dito na talaga. Um, kung sa construction, may idea na kayo, may plan na kayo, dito sa selection, yung mga nabuo nyo or yung mga na-construct nyo ideas, yung mga na-outline yung ideas, dito na sa selection, pipiliin nyo na. Alin yung angle na uunahin? Ano yung focus? na dapat pagtuunan ng pansin. Ano yung dapat i-prioritize na part ng advertisement? Diba? May tanong kanina sa pinakauna nating tanong, what is the most striking part of the advertisement? So dito mo yon sa selection. Dito kayo mamimili ng ganon. Okay, next, we have the encourage. Okay, encourage is the words used to give images a certain meaning. Okay, ito na yung mga ano natin. Sa encourage, ito na yung mga caption, mga statement. Ito na yon more on written codes na ito, mga anak. Kapag, eh, ano, encourage na to. Okay, more on, ano na siya, papasok na yung mga captions na ilalagay natin, mga subtitles, mga headings, ayan na, nandiyan na yon Okay, next, ito namang ating stereotypes and ideology. Lagi itong magkasama, itong dalawang to. The stereotypes is the oversimplified representation of a person or a thing. And sabi nga kanina, ideology is the set of opinions or beliefs expressed through a media material. Okay. Hindi pwedeng nakapag-construct tayo, nakapag-media tayo, nakapag-select, nakapag-encourage tayo na hindi natin um, kinoconsider ang stereotyping and ideology na meron tayo. So, syempre, sabi nga dito, the oversimplified representation of a person or a thing kailangan hindi tayo maging bias. Wala tayong maaapaka na kahit sino. No one will left behind with our advertisement. Kung siya ay um, kung siya kasi ay may mga matatapakang tao, hindi siya ia-approve ng madla, 'di ba? Hindi yan panonoori ng madla kung yan ay or hindi yan magiging effective na advertisement kung yan ay may mga naaapakang tao. And syempre, meron yang mga set of beliefs tayong tinatawag. Dapat hindi lang tayo nakafocus sa isang uh, content. Dapat maganda is pangkalahatan tayo. In general, tayo lagi. Wala tayong i-specify. Is that clear? Okay. Kaya magkasama tong stereotypes and ideology. Okay. Next one. Let's analyze this one. Okay. 
sa construction mga anak, this is an example, okay? Para mas madali niyong maintindihan kung ano yung anim na process ng pag ng media representation. So sa construction mga anak, we are looking at the color, the lighting and the objects within the frame. Okay, as you can see, ang ginamit dito ng color is red, de ba? Kasi kasi nagre-represent siya, kasi nagre-represent siya sa ketchup, de ba? Ketchup ng hints na to, okay? Tomato ketchup siya. So as you can see, the objects within the frame is hindi naman siya sobrang laki, hindi rin siya sobrang liit, de ba? Talagang yung sa frame is fitted lang siya, suited siya, bagay. And sa shadowing naman, kung makikita nyo sa shadowing, may mga shadows na may mga maiitim sa gilid. And mapapansin natin na talagang parang pinag-isipang mabuti yung magiging layout ng poster na ito, right? Okay, mediation, a lengthy transaction between the client and the advertising agency, a graphic artist, a photographer, a researcher. So talagang pinag-aralan yung paggawa nito. Hindi lang siya basta, sige, lagyan mo ng ano, patong-patong tomato na mabubuo yung shape ng ketchup. Hindi siya ganun eh. Pinag-isipan talaga siya ng gumawa, ng nag-edit, ng advertising agency, and even yung graphic artist na meron tayo. Okay, next one is the selection. Accepting or rejecting the suggested colors, the battle, and etc. Okay, dito naman sa selection, di ba sabi ko sa inyo sa kanina, sa selection, you are going to select which is the priority and kung ano yung pinaka mas magiging magandang angle and focus. Di ba, doon na yun sa mga binuo nyo, sa binuo nyo constru sa construction, nagseselect na kayo ng mas mga magagandang angles and focus. So dito yun, tingnan nyo, sabi dito accepting or rejecting. So ibig sabihin, hindi lahat ng nangyari sa construction is na select. Merong mga na-omit, merong mga na-reject. Okay? Sa encourage naman, the statement use is no one grows ketchup like Hain. Hains. Okay, yun yung ginamit dito. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, more unwritten codes siya. Ideology part, all the factors pointed that freshness and simplicity are the most valuable aspects of a product. So, ang gusto pala ng, ang ideolohiya pala nitong Hains ketchup is to pointed out yung freshness and simplicity. Di ba pag freshness and simplicity naman, wala namang maaapakang tao pag ganitong usapan sa simplicity and freshness, di ba? Okay, last one sa ating stereotyping. What makes this advertisement more effective is the way the stereotype of freshness and simplicity equated to good. So sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, laging magkasama ang ideology and stereotyping. So kung mapapansin nyo, pinapointed out lang ng dalawang ito yung Freshness and simplicity. Okay, nagagets ba mga anak? Why I can still open my camera kaya? Okay. Okay. You always have to remember. Sige, makikibasa nga ako para matandaan ng magbabasa kung ano ang kailangang i-remember. Okay, kindly raise your hand if you want to read. Yes, Miss Precious Valerie Lassig. Media representation is an interesting multi-layered topic in media and information literacy. It examines the influence and responsibility of media, as well as the responsibility of those who receive and provide information. It also encourages us to examine how our own values and beliefs, our sense of right and wrong, and our definition of truth affect and shape these media representations. Okay, thank you, Precious. Okay. So, totoo naman yung dapat natin i-remember. Media representation is an interesting and multi-layered topic in media and information literacy. Kasi, kagaya ng ginagawa natin ngayon, we are more on focus sa mga kung paano ginagawa yung advertisement, yung mga posters, di ba? Na minsan, sabi nyo nga kanina, di ba, nung tinanong ko kayo, ano yung, ano yung interpretation nyo dun sa video? Okay, di ba, may mga sinabi kayo na na-inspire kayo, okay, meron... So, ibig sabihin, nai-influence, nai-influensyahan kayo ng mga advertisement and yung mga types of media na ating nagagamit. And even, the responsibility of those who receive and provide information. So, mga anak, tatandaan nyo, hindi lang tayo always receiver ng message. We can also pro be a provider of the message, of the information. ba diba, pag tayo nagkikwentuhan, tas may chika kayo, ba diba, kayo ang naging provider ng information. And kung sino yung kausap nyo, siya yung nag interpret ng sinasabi mo, siya yung tinatawag nating receiver. 
as well as kapag kayo sila kayo kay nakwentuhan kayo ang receiver kayo ang nag interpret and yung nagpa-provide ng information is yung inyo namang kausap okay it also encourages us to examine how our values and beliefs so kaya meron tayong tinutukoy kaninang ideology and stereotyping para hindi lang tayo basta nanonood ng advertisement nakikritik natin siya na ay naku parang medyo nadidegrade nito itong ganito Ah, okay. Parang sobrang OA ng part na ito. Kaya di ba maganda na may mga critiquing skills tayo eh, na tinatawag eh. Kaya minsan, napapansin mo na OA yan ka sa advertisement na to. Minsan, naboboringan ka. Pero minsan, tawa ka ng tawa ang that advertisement. Kasi meron tayong mga um, values and beliefs. And also, we have the sense of right and wrong. And our definition of truth, affect, and shape this media representations. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, mga anak, reality and yung ating sinasabing ideology. Okay? Next one. Okay, I have a question pala before we end this topic. Kung talagang naintindihan, if you are going to make a poster of an advertisement, how will you make it creative and meaningful? Sige. And anong klaseng advertisement ang iyong gagawin kung ikaw ay gagawa ng poster? Okay, kindly raise your hand if you want to answer. Okay, ito yung tanong ha. If you are going to make a poster or an advertisement, how will you make it creative and meaningful? And syempre, paano siya magiging catchy sa iyong mga target audience? Sige, isip kayo. I'm gonna give you five minutes or two minutes para mag-isip kung anong magandang advertisement at sino ang inyong target audience. Okay, sino may sagot? You may raise your hand while you still can open my ano. Okay, si ma'am muna magbibigay ng example. Kung ako mga anak, kagawa ko ng advertisement. Gusto ko is advertisement siya ng isang donut. Okay, simple lang ha, donut. So paano daw siya magiging creative? If I'm going to make a, um, a poster ng isang donut na yung kagaya ng mga Mr. Donut ng Kings, ang sa akin siguro is gagawin kong head yung donut na parang gagawin ko siyang human. Okay, so magkakaroon ng head yung aking poster na ang head ay yung donut na parang ang gusto kong ipangalan sa kanya is um, ano bang magandang name pag donut? Donut. So, ayan nga. Gusto ko sa donut ako gagawa. And to make it more creative, yan nga, nagawa ko ng design na ulo ko, ng ulo ng donut yung magiging tao. Okay, tapos, ito yung sunod na tanong. Are you willing to apply the media representations we discuss in order to make your poster catch and engaging to its viewers? So, willing ba kayo na gamitin itong mga construction, med mediation, selection, and courage? stereotyping and ideology pag gumawa kayo ng mga advertisement in the future. Malay nyo, meron pala dito mga nangangarap na maging um, BMMA student, na mga multimedia artist. So, willing ba kayo na gamitin yung ating mga media representations na na-discuss to make your advertisement and posters na gagawin, na maging creative? Give me a thumbs up na, St. Eudor. But parang nahirapan ng St. Eudor mag-isip ng isang palab anang isang patalastas okay na isang commercial okay so anak thank you so much and that is all for today so i have an assignment pala sa inyo anak have an advanced review for our next lesson which is the opportunities challenges and power of multi Okay, media information literacy. Okay, yun yung next yung topic eh. Opportunities, challenges, and power of MIL. So, have an advanced reading about that. Yun lang naman ang inyong assignment. Let me stop sharing. Ayan. So, mga anak, wait lang ha. Wait nyo lang si ma'am. At ako ay hindi makapag-open ng camera. Why is it happening? Okay, anak, baka nakalimutan yung mag-comment sa ating comment section about your ano ha? 
um, your attendance. Hindi ko kayo marirecord if hindi kayo nakapag-ano doon. So, comment na kaagad habang hindi pa tayo tapos. Mag-comment na kayo habang hindi pa nag end yung ating video. Ayan, ang dami pa lang nag-ano. Chat, chat. Ma'am Crisaline? Hello po. Done na? Apo. Ma'am, pwede pong i-make host ko po kayo. Ako lang po ayaw alis po saglit. Kasi ayaw po mabuhay ng camera ko. Tapos balik po ako kaagad. Araso. Apo. Balik po ako kaagad. Wait lang po. 